Hi friends, you are welcome back to another interesting question. We are asked to calculate the area of triangle STV. That is this here. We see this is a semicircle and this is a quadrant. We have the length of this side to be three meters. And here we are told the line PR is parallel to line ST. That is this line PR is parallel to this line ST. So how can we solve this? How can we calculate the area of this triangle STV? Well, it is very simple. Starting from this quadrant, we can see this is a side of it. It has its length to be three meters. Definitely, it is the radius of the quadrant. So radius of quadrant equal to three meters. This side will also be 3 meters in length because it is also a radius of the quadrant. But we can see this is a semicycle. So this line PV will also be its diameter. We know diameter is 2 radius. So it is safe to say radius of semicycle is 1 over 2 into bracket 3 meters, which is 1.5 meters. So the radius of the semicycle is 1.5 meters. This cycle, we assume its radius to be r. So radius of quadrant equal to 3 meters. Radius of semicycle equal to 1.5 and radius of cycle equal to r. Okay. Come to this cycle. We see this line PR is a tangent to it at this point. From the cycle theory, there is a rule that the tangent of a cycle is perpendicular to its radius through point of contact. So from this point of contact, if we draw out the radius of the cycle, the tangent will be perpendicular to it. Hence, this angle is a right angle. Look at this quadrant. A quadrant we know is one fourth a cycle. We draw out the full cycle. We have a big cycle now and this small cycle touching at this point. From the cycle theory once again, there is a rule that if two cycles touch at a point internally or externally, their point of contact and centers are collinear. We see from this big cycle, this is its center and for this cycle, this is its center. Using this rule here, this center, this point, and this are on the same straight line. Now if you look from this side to this point is a radius of the small cycle. And from this point P, which is the center of the big cycle, to this point of contact is its radius, which is 3 meters. So since this segment is R, this other part must be 3 meters minus R. We look at this triangle. Because of this right angle, it is a right angle triangle. We have the length of this side to be 3 meters minus r. The of this is r. If you assume this to be x, we can use the Pythagorean theorem, which states that the square of the length of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the length of the two other sides. The hypotenuse is the side facing the right angle. So applying the Pythagorean theorem, 3 minus r all squared equal to r squared plus x squared. 3 minus r all squared is 3 minus r times 3 minus r, which is 3 times 3 minus r minus r times 3 minus r. 3 times 3 minus r is 9 minus 3r, and minus r times 3 minus r is minus 3r plus r squared. Minus 3r minus 3r is minus 6r. So 9 minus 6r plus r squared equal to r squared plus x squared. This r squared will eliminate this r squared. We take the transpose of the equation. So x squared equal to 9 minus 6r. We can keep this equation aside for now. Come to the semicycle. A semicycle is half a cycle. We want to draw out the full cycle. We see this cycle and this small cycle touch at this point. Recall the rule we used earlier. 
that if two circles touch at a point internally or externally their point of contact and their centers are collinear so by this rule this point of contact lies on the straight line that connects this center and this this segment is a radius which is 1.5 and this also a radius which is r the next thing we are going to do from this center draw a perpendicular to this line pv call this point a and this b we look at this quadrilateral three of its angles are right angles the only two type of quadrilateral the half of the three right angles are the square or the rectangle this obviously is not a square hence it is a rectangle one of its properties is that opposite sides are congruent that is this side and this are equal and this and this are also equal so since this is r this must also be r and since this is x this must also be x look at this line segment call this point c its length is 1.5 meters and we have this part of it to be r therefore this must be 1.5 meters minus r we then look at this triangle abc it is a right angle triangle we can use the pythagorean theorem this is the hypotenuse so by pythagoras the square of its length which is the summation of this 1.5 and this r must be equal to sum of the squares of this 1.5 minus r and this x so 1.5 plus r all squared equal to 1.5 minus r all squared plus x squared 1.5 can be written as 3 over 2 3 over 2 plus r all squared if you expand is 9 over 4 plus 3 plus r squared here also 3 over 2 minus r all squared if you expand is 9 over 4 minus 3 r plus r squared this r squared eliminate this r squared and this 9 over 4 will eliminate this 9 over 4 so 3 r equal to minus 3 r plus x squared this x squared if you recall we have it here to be 9 minus 6 r so replace this x squared with 9 minus 6 r minus 3 r minus 6 r is minus 9 r take minus 9 r to the left 3 r plus 9 r is 12 r so 12 r equal to 9 12 r is 4 r times 3 and 9 is 3 times 3 this 3 eliminates this 3 divide both sides of the equation by 4 here 4 cancels 4 so r equal to 3 over 4 meters that is the radius of this small cycle is 3 over 4 meters come to this triangle this side and this are equal in length that is it is an isosceles triangle this is its base if we draw the median to the base it will bisect the base at right angle if we let this segment be y this must also be y and if we assume this angle to be e this must also be e now recall this line pr is parallel to this line st line pr is perpendicular to this line pv and this is also perpendicular to this line pv that means this line pr and this are parallel so since line st makes an angle e with this the angle between it and this must also be e this line st if we extend it down here since it is parallel to this line which is perpendicular to this it will also be perpendicular to line pv so this is a right angle now look at this quadrilateral three of its angles are right angles that makes it a rectangle opposite sides of a rectangle are equal that is this and this are congruent so if we let this be z this must also be z now look at this triangle it is a right angle triangle and we have one of its angles to be e the same is for this triangle it is also a right angle triangle and one of its angles are e that means they are similar so if we take the ratio of their sides this z divided by thus r 
must be equal to this r divided by this 3 meters minus r. So z over r equal to r over 3 minus r. We found r to be 3 over 4. Substitute it here. So z over 3 over 4 equal to 3 over 4 over 3 minus 3 over 4. 3 minus 3 over 4 is 12 minus 3 all over 4. And 12 minus 3 is 9. This 4 cancels this 4. 9 divided by this 3 is 3. Multiply both sides by 3 over 4. Here 3 over 4 cancels 3 over 4. While here 1 over 3 times 3 over 4 is 1 over 4. So z equal to 1 over 4. That is the length of this side and this each is 1 over 4. Recall the whole length of line BC is 1.5 minus R. So since this part is 1 over 4, this must be 1.5 minus R minus 1 over 4. R is 3 over 4. Minus 3 over 4 minus 1 over 4 is minus 4 over 4, which is minus 1. 1.5 minus 1 is 0 0.5, that is 1 over 2. So the length is 1 over 2. The length from this point to this is the sum of this 1 over 2 and the length of this radius. So it's 1 over 2 plus 1.5. 1 over 2 is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 plus 1.5 is 2, so it is 2. Come to this triangle, since it is a right angle triangle, if you use the Pythagorean theorem, this is the hypotenuse, so it will be r squared equal to 1 over 4 all squared plus y squared, r is 3 over 4, 3 over 4 all squared is 10 over 16, 1 over 4 all squared is 1 over 16. Take it to the left. 9 over 16 minus 1 over 16 is 8 over 16. And 8 over 16 is 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 equal to y squared. That is y squared equal to 1 over 2. Take the square root of both sides. Here square root of y squared is y. While here square root of 1 over 2 is 1 over root 2. That is, the length of this line segment and this are 1 over root 2 each. If you look at this triangle, if we take this side as its base, this must be the height. So base equal to 1 over root 2 plus 1 over root 2, which is 2 over root 2 meters, and height equal to 2 meters. Formula for calculating the area of a triangle is 1 over 2 base times height. Substitute these values here. This 1 over 2 multiplied by this 2 is 1 over root 2 and 1 over root 2 times 2 is 2 over root 2. If you multiply 2 over root 2 by root 2 over root 2, it is 2 root 2 over 2. This 2 cancels this 2. So area of triangle STV equal to root 2 meter squared. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share and comment and also turn on notifications. Thank you.